Hi guys, if your Crane M3's gimbal sometimes comes up with a message saying access locked or it stops responding or goes into a sleep mode, um, then there are three reasons why this happens. So in this video I'm going to explain the reasons and I'm going to show you how you can actually fix this issue. It's coming up. Hi, my name is Tim from 40 Tech and in this video I want to talk to you about the Crane M3 gimbal. And you may find that your M3 gimbal could actually have the following behavior. It could suddenly stop responding, it could uh, face just a random direction, or it appears to have gone to sleep and powered off. Or you could also get a message on the screen saying access lock or words that affect or gimbal suspended. Now, if you're getting this type of behavior, then there, these are the symptoms of the following three causes. First, and the most common, is that you, it's very easy to accidentally to knock one of the access locks while using a gimbal. Now they're actually very easy to slide inadvertently when using the gimbal, particularly this one at the back here. Now if your hand is a little bit uh, too high up when you're holding the gimbal, you could find that you accidentally knock the switch with a finger when shifting your grip. Now being because it's so easy to slide, it's one of the things I find really annoying about the M3. Now ironically the, um, the cheaper Crane M2S and the Crane M3S have actually stronger switches. You don't find it so, so easy to accidentally knock the switches. Now the next reason this is the gimbal is not properly balanced. So what you need to do is you power down the gimbal and check each of the axes are balanced and then it's very easy to actually forget the tilt axis in this direction, i.e. the tilt the camera vertically so it's facing up and it should stay there and not flop down. Now it's very easy to miss that one and the camera will forward, fall forward and back. Now it might look balanced, but one axis I can tell you is not. So to correct this, undo the lock here and slide the camera appropriately so that it stays stationary. After that, then check that the other axes are still okay. And then you can then power back on the gimbal. Now on the M3, there's a nice feature to check that the balance of the, each of the axes is in case you're not actually quite there. And then click down to where you can see uh, balance and you should see a screen which shows the balance of each axis. Now, if it's not balanced, then you'll see a little line going left or right. But if it's, everything looks good, then you should actually see it right in the middle. Now also, before assuming all is okay, try doing an auto calibration of the gimbal to set the correct torque for your particular camera. Now, before we continue the video, if you're enjoying the video and learning something useful, useful of course, please hit that like and subscribe button. Now, it's not easy for a tiny channel like mine to gain any attraction at all. And making videos does actually take a lot of time as you appreciate and effort for not much reward. So please show your love and subscribe. I'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so I appreciate your help getting there. All right, let's continue. So the last reason is that you may be swapping out cameras using the quick release bracket without doing any rebalancing or doing any auto calibration. Let's say for example, I'm swapping between the GoPro and the Sony ZV-1. Now these are totally different weights. So if the gimbal is expecting a lightweight GoPro, for example, and the Sony ZV-1 camera is then put on, it won't really be expecting the change. And so it's gonna need rebalancing and recalibration. So what you could do if you're swapping cameras is make a note of the values on the axis scales at least mentally or maybe by a pencil or something like that and then it should be much faster to balance as you just need to go to the appropriate mark. So hopefully friends these tips and the videos are going to make the error message or the sleep issues a thing of the past. At least now you know what can cause them and, and how to fix them and you can then go on enjoying the gimbal for years to come. Once again don't please don't forget to hit that subscribe button perhaps even do it now. All right take care and I shall see you soon.